having trouble talking today. Ay, 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 ay. Wee, 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 wee. Okay, guys, I don't know if you can tell any difference in the audio this morning, but I broke the media mod for the GoPro. So I'm trusting solely on the Rode Wireless uh, microphone system for this video. It might be better, it might be worse. Fingers crossed that it's better. Armadillo. I wonder if I've got the tripod in here. Why do I always get people behind me that are wanting to go faster than me? Why don't they get in front of me? Our spot here is wide open. Apparently nobody likes this spot. <laughs> I don't know why, it's a pretty nice spot. If you like the smell of dead catfish. <laughs> Voila! <laughs> well, if you're anything like me, which I hope that you're not, but if you are, you've come across some DJI Mini 2 safety features that suck. So we're gonna review three of those sucky <laughs> features today. We're gonna demonstrate them, and we're gonna see if DJI will listen to us and maybe take them away. <laughs> Let me go get Jack. <laughs> I did, I forgot the tripod. Boo, fail again. You're such a failure, Kevin Roberts. Let's get Jack started here. I've got to remember these three things that I was thinking about in my head. So the first one is, second one is, and the third one is, got it. I'm gonna go put Jack out on the back of the truck so he can get his uh, bearings and stuff. Love you, buddy. Say hi to everybody. Hi. He just passed that guy. Man, he's flying too. That guy's not so much. Okay, let's get these satellites here. Got 11 satellites. Got a weak GPS signal or whatever they call that. We're using Jack. We'll go over to the About tab. Firmware version 1.03.0000 and the Fly App version of 1.4.8. Transmission, we're on the dual band, and it looks like I would say we're on the 5.8 because last time the 2.4 sucked. 5.8 looks good, 2.4. Let's go back to dual band. Hopefully, it'll pick the uh, 5.8. Perfect. All right, we're in the imperial mode. Who cares, Kevin? One of the first safety features that I thought of that I didn't really like very much is the fact that when you when you initially take off uh, from your landing point or from your home point, you automatically take off in normal mode, no matter what the toggle switch on your screen says. You could you could be in cine, or you could be in sport, or you could be in normal, and it doesn't matter. You're gonna be taken off in normal mode. I learned that kind of the hard way. We were doing a video testing the speeds for all the different modes, and I was like, why in the world is, the, the speeds are the same for every mode, why is that? <laughs> well, idiot you were in normal mode the entire time. So I got some comments about that on that video, which were kind of funny. And uh, just because I didn't, I had no idea. All right, so let's get Jack started here. Let's get him up in the air. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to this field. I'm gonna lift up about a, about 100 feet. Pull the gimbal down a little bit. And I'm gonna show you that I just started off, even though it says that I'm in sport mode, look at the upper left-hand corner of that icon, it says that I'm in sport mode. I'm going to lift up to about 100 feet. We all know that the max speed for sport mode is like 33 to 35 miles an hour. Normal mode is going to be, I think, 22 miles an hour. So let's see if we can get up past that 22 miles an hour. He's veering to the right again. I need to do a calibration or an IMU. So see, top speed there is 22 miles an hour. So he is in normal mode. <laughs> so let me flip over to normal mode. And I'll flip back over to sport mode. And now I'm going to be able to go the regular 33 something miles an hour. See? So I think that feature doesn't need to be there. My understanding is that their logic behind it is they don't want people to take off in sport mode and not know that they're in sport mode and crash. Well, they haven't met me. <laughs> I'll crash in cine mode. <laughs> All right, let's get Jack home. The second item on my list of safety features that suck is whenever you're coming home and you're, you're doing the auto land feature, Sometimes whenever you're trying to land or whenever the drone's trying to land, you'll get this message that'll say something like area unsuitable for landing or something like that. And it'll just sit there and hover a few feet above the above the ground. Well, a lot of times that ground that level that area is level and dry, so why isn't it landing? So let's demonstrate that. Let me go to the 
auto land feature here. Let's see if he'll see if he'll do this. And he's getting down about 70 feet now. He's right above the truck. I think he's going to just sit there and hover above this truck or above this uh, um, bed cover. But he's coming down really slow. It's almost like he's in cine mode now. All right, so we're going to area under aircraft unsuitable for landing. Control aircraft to land in a safe area. So to me, this area here seems safe. I don't know why he can't land. I mean, look at it. I'll, I'll put the gimbal down. It's a flat surface. It's black. He should be able to detect it, but I guess that he can't. So I'm going to land on myself. Landing. And look, magically, it's safe. <laughs> I guess I'm smarter than the uh, controller, maybe. I don't know. Probably not. What's the third feature? Oh, yes. The third thing on my list today is another thing in sport mode. So did you know that whenever you're flying in sport mode, if you're low to the ground, I want to say that it's 30 feet, maybe 20 feet or something. I can't remember the exact number. But if you're low to the ground and flying in sport mode, that your speed is limited. I don't remember what the limit is or what the speed limit is, but you can't get that low, fast 35 miles an hour, uh, you know, just a few feet off the ground. It, it limits that. DJ, I won't let you do it. It's a safety feature. Let me get Jack back up in the air. And we're going to go over here to this area over here. Where are we at? Right here. We'll just do it. Oh, whoops. We're already facing it, Kevin. Just fly straight. <laughs> okay. Got the gimbal facing down a little bit. We're going to go over here and I'm going to I'm going to get I'm going to get low to the ground. Where is it at? Oh, he's over there. <laughs> get low to the ground. Okay, so I shouldn't I'm I'm at 0 feet, but I took off from the bed of the truck, so I took off higher than the ground level. All right, so I'm going to go for Oh, well, let me go to sport mode. I'm going to go forward. We're looking for 33 miles an hour, but I bet you that we're not going to get it. And we're, stu we're stopped here at 25 miles an hour. We can't go any faster than that. 26. So that kind of that kind of sucks. They say that, I think it's 10 meters. If you're below 10 meters, you can't go the normal speed for sport mode. All right, so now we're above that 30-foot mark. And we're able to go 30-plus miles an hour. All right, let's get Jack back over here to the truck. We'll get some final thoughts. Jack's connected again now. I had to get a new battery because his battery died or it was getting really low. So let's actually stop this video on a positive note. Let's go over one safety feature that does not suck. I think the best feature that I can come up with that does not suck is this pause button right here. If you guys can see it. Whenever you're flying along and you get scared, hit the pause button and the drone will freeze. And then it'll just sit there and hover. And it'll hover perfect. It won't, it won't move at all. Then the way that you get control back is you have to hit up on the, on the left stick again in order to regain control. And then whenever you uh, regain control, then you can fly back to a safe spot. All right, so let's get Jack started. I'll demonstrate this pause button. I'm gonna back up here, get up in the air a little bit. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna fly by really fast, and then I'm gonna hit pause. And you'll see the angle that he gets to to stop. Look at that. I don't know if it's in the camera or not, but I don't have any control of him right now at all. Well, now I do. So let me go back again. Let me try that again. Flying forward. Look at look how fast he stopped. I have no control. I got to hit up or down. I hope that's in the frame. <laughs> let me go out further. There, we'll go over it like that. Now we'll come up again and. Look how look at the angle that he gets to to stop. That's crazy. I have again no control. Got to hit up or down, and now I've got control of Jack again. That's actually a pretty cool feature. While I was outside recording that stuff, I made a huge mistake. I left my door open, and now I've got a visitor. <laughs> He's been bothering me ever since. Well, that's some better lighting. <laughs> And there's my buddy George. <laughs> you guys remember the movie The Fly? That could be the start of it right there. I know that those probably weren't the best demonstrations that you guys have ever seen regarding these safety features, but I think that you got my point. These three features, in my opinion, have no reason for being in existence. Now, the pause feature, that is two thumbs up. That's a pretty cool feature. If you guys can think of any features that you think sucks, that you want me to review or that you want me to demonstrate, just leave them in the comments below. I want to thank everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed the great... Hope you enjoyed the great video. 
Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great week and God bless.